Joel's situation is very common. Most often people try and relate the onset of a back or a leg problem to some event. And in some cases it is due to a fall or trauma, but in other cases it's just from normal wear and tear and somebody bending over to tie their shoe can actually herniate a disc at that point. These white structures are the spinal bones or vertebrae and the yellow material between them is the, the intervertebral disc or the disc and that's the shock absorber or the cushion. And this, little, this small red area, which is bulging or protruding out, is an example on this model of what a herniated disc might look like. And what this means is some of this material used to be in the center, but is now protruded out. And in an instance where it is pushing on a nerve root, represented by these little yellow strands, then that can cause leg pain or sciatica. On the other hand, Oftentimes, people get herniated discs on the front side of their spine and might not even know it because there's nothing out here like a nerve root that would let them know that the disc is herniated. 90% of people that have herniated discs actually have complete resolution of their symptoms within three months with non-surgical treatment. This includes things like a brief period of rest, avoiding certain activities that irritate the nerve, taking anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, occasionally steroid injections are helpful in managing the pain. But by and large, Mother Nature has a way of shrinking down and healing these herniated discs 90% of the time within the first 6 to 12 weeks. Joel had surgery and it is unusual if you look at everyone that has a herniated disc. On the other hand, if you look at the people whose symptoms, that is the leg pain, lasts more than six weeks and certainly by 10 or 12 weeks, then surgery is probably one of the best treatments if non-operative treatment and Mother Nature hasn't been able to resolve the leg pain. The procedure Joel had, which is called a microdiscectomy, is really a very standard operation for a disc herniation. The goal of a microdiscectomy is to remove just the herniated portion of the disc that's pushing on the nerve root and causing the pain. There are slightly different variations of a microdiscectomy. In some cases it can be done through a tube retractor, as in Joel's case. In other situations it can be done through a very small incision, or it can be done with the help of an operating microscope. But in all of these different variants, Nowadays, it's pretty much an outpatient surgery where people go home the same day or at most might stay overnight and leave the next morning.